Hey guys, Brandon here with Calvary Chapel Hemet. I just want to say good morning to each one of you and welcome to our Heart to Home Daily Devotional. So this morning's devotional is a devotional that I pray brings you comfort. As you all know, the world around us seems to be getting worse and worse. We're on the tail end of a worldwide pandemic known as the COVID-19 or the coronavirus. We've seen the economy crash recently. Small businesses forced to shut down, schools closed, malls closed, diners and restaurants closed. We even saw how it affected the church. Some churches shut down completely. Others went to live stream only. All kinds of different things have taken place. Now, as we begin to come out of the coronavirus ordeal, we see a new situation happening. A situation that struck here in the very streets of Hemet. Many of you have been made aware of the situation of George Floyd and the protests that have now turned violent. A few nights ago, they actually had to shut down Florida Street. Our own police officers, Hemet PD, were being attacked by people throwing rocks and things at them. Windows of businesses have been shattered and groups of people rushed in and looted. Graffiti all over the place. For a while, it was pure anarchy taking place on the streets of Hemet, California. Now, that can be a kind of scary thing, especially for us law-abiding citizens. Some of us may even have wondered, where's God right now? Now, if you've had that thought, don't beat yourself up too badly. I think every Christian has been in a situation where they wondered where God was. Why isn't God intervening? I'm sure every Christian has experienced a time where they even felt all alone in it all, maybe even forsaken. And so this morning, I want to talk to you about a man found in the Old Testament. Actually, his story begins in chapter 6 of the book of Judges. His name is Gideon. Gideon lived in a very dangerous and scary time. His people, the children of Israel, had done evil in the sight of the Lord, and God, being a loving father, brought correction to his children by allowing them to be delivered into the hands of a people called the Midianites. Now, the Midianites were very cruel, and the land had become so dangerous that uh, the children of Israel couldn't even feed themselves. You see, every time they would plant crops and it was time to harvest, well, the Midianites would come along with other groups and they'd come in and they'd loot everything. They'd steal everything, much like we've been seeing in our own city the last few nights. Again, Gideon lived in a scary time, a time of uncertainty. But I want to read to you now out of the book of Judges, chapter 6, verses 11 through 13. It says this, now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abiezrite, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Gideon said to him, O oh, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Now, the first thing we see is the angel of the Lord in verse 11. This is what's known as a theophany. And basically, that's just a fancy word that tells us that this was Jesus in the Old Testament, before the cross at Calvary, before his earthly birth. The next thing we see in the second half of verse 11 is Gideon was hiding. He was no doubt scared to thresh wheat in the open, so he hid from the Midianites and threshed it in a wine press of all things. Again, scary times for this man of God. Anarchy all around him. The angel of the Lord appears and tells him that he's with him. But look at Gideon's response again in verse 13. 
He says, O oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And a little further in that same verse, Gideon feels like the Lord is forsaken and just given them over. Again, sometimes even the child of God can feel forsaken and alone. We know how big our God is. He's the creator and nothing is impossible for him. And we know that. And so when we see terrible things happen, our human nature, especially for new Christians, can sometimes make us question where our mighty God is during this time, especially when the world around us is crumbling, being destroyed, and full of danger. But here's what I want each of us to see here this morning. Even though Gideon was feeling forsaken because of all that was going on in the land, where was Jesus at? Let's look at verse 11 again. Now the angel of the Lord, Jesus, came and sat under the terebinth tree, which was in Ophrah, which belonged to Joash, the Abiezrite, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. You see, guys, despite Gideon's feelings of being forsaken, despite his feelings of being abandoned by God, we see here that even while he was hiding, threshing the wheat, scared, the angel of the Lord, Jesus, was sitting right next to him. That's what I want us to all remember as we carry on in these last days. That despite our circumstances, despite our feelings, despite the confusion, the lawlessness, all this, this stuff we see around us, take comfort and always remember, guys, that Jesus is in fact right next to us through it all. He's sitting right here. Jesus promised, guys, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's what we see in Gideon's story. And I pray that that's what we see in each of our own. Let's pray, guys. And so, Father God, first off, Lord, we just want to thank you for uh, the promise you've given us of never leaving us and never forsaking us, Lord. We know that we're in the palm of your hand, Lord, and nothing can take us out of it, Lord. Father, we thank you for that. And Lord, we just want to take a moment to lift up our city, Lord. Father, there's so much anger and hatred and evil um, in the city, Lord. Just pray, Father, that you take that out of here, Lord, that you bring peace upon this city, Lord, that you heal this land that we live in, Lord. Father, that goes for the whole nation, Lord. Just heal our land, Father. Forgive us for our sins, Lord, and heal our land. Lord, we love you. We just pray that you continue to remind us, Lord, of those promises that you're with us. That when we turn on the TV and we see those scary things happening, even in our own community, Lord, that you're right next to us through it all and that it's going to be okay, Lord. You're with us. We love you, Father. We thank you. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hey, I hope you en uh, enjoyed this morning's uh, Heart to Home daily devotional. Hey, we miss you guys. Love you. We'll see you soon. God bless.